What is up, you guys? I'm Farah, and today we're reacting to the finale of The Angel Next Door Spells Me Rotten Season 1. I am so excited to get into today's episode, especially because I genuinely think a confession is underway this episode. Like, I, I feel it in my bones, and if not, I'm actually gonna cry. I am so annoyed and edged that I'm just, like, angry that I just, I just want them to kiss as soon as possible. It's just, it's tough out here, bro. It's tough out here. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. And if you guys would like to see my uncut reactions, make sure to go check them down below in the description to help support me and the channel by supporting me on the Patreon. And yeah, let's get into it. Oh my God, no way. <laughs> Too close. Shut the fuck up. Did she kiss his cheek, not his mouth? What do you mean? Why? Oh my god, does she have to spell it out? I'm actually gonna cry. No, no, I'm gonna cry. Does she have to spell it out? We're getting a sports day. Oh. Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> She's so shy. Ohio. They're sensing vibes. They're sensing vibes. They're sensing vibes. Now they're flirting. Just confess. Yes, exactly. He's so annoying. It's so annoying. Just like take action. She obviously likes you. You aren't good looking. You're an idiot. At your own pace? What is it, snails? I like how he didn't even have to say, I like her, I like her, I like her. He didn't even have to say it, like, it's just obvious for everybody around. Me too, bro! They just want you together. She likes you, dummy. She literally kissed you on the cheek. Are you an idiot? Oh, did she not come over? Mahiru? Oh my god, is she tiptoeing? You don't need to apologize. Can you please grow, like, and have some courage? Oh, she's so far. There's distance. Does she really have to spell it out for you? Yeah, come on, have some guts from that moment. He wants to hear that you like him, but I think she wants to hear it from him first. He needs to be stronger. Oh, cute. So sad. They're literally Romeo and Juliet. What's he in? Is he in the same one as her? Oh, 
Or he, I think he's using it as a sign, as like if she's closer, that means she like me. She likes me. This idiot. Mm. Cute. I used to hate sports day. I think you stand out to her anyways. Does she want? Indirect kiss. Indirect kiss. I think she wants him to feed her. Cutie. But why? For what reason? Why would you want that? I just... It's almost like he's trying to have distance on purpose to keep his heart safe, but he's such an idiot. It's too late. It's like way too late. Is she really? How do you know that? Did he like her? Were you her senpai in the running club? Wait, so she had her bad experiences experiences with other women. Okay. Baby, I'm sorry. I feel like they all have such good empathy in relationships with each other because they've all known struggle in some way. And it makes me feel very happy that they're at least safety for each other. Is it involving a confession? Does one of the things involve somebody you like? Hi, Miha Mahiru. What is it? What's on her card? Somebody you like? She's 
she's gonna confess at the finish line? Shut up, losers. I can't believe they have to outline it. Is it a confession? The person I like? That's a public confession. Man, if he doesn't grow the balls right now, I'm actually gonna be so upset. You don't know that, you fucking assholes. Oh, you guys are all awful. But at least they're saying that shit to his face. Almost, yeah. Me. How the fuck would you know? Do you fucking know him? You guys are freaks. You don't know her. <gasps> a confession. He gives much a damn. I gave a bad damn about Mahiru. Habibi! She literally said it publicly. Why would you ask her this in public? What? You're terrible. She's gonna kick his ass. She's gonna kick his ass. She's going to kick his ass! Oh, he doesn't know that she's like that. He doesn't know that she's like that. Oh, dude. Yes, stick it to them. You haven't seen him dressed up, shithead. <laughs> yes, own them. Yes! Eat him alive! Eat him up, queen! Queen shit! Not at all. That was iconic. I love you. Icon. He's blushing. She likes you. She's publicly confessing right now. All of his friends are there to witness this like public confession and I just want him I feel like it's also important that it's public in a weird way especially for him because for him he doesn't trust people and people have said things to him in private and been terrible to him in public right so it's important kind of for him for it to be public 
in a way and i didn't think about that before and now that i think about it it's actually kind of imperative almost and he and the reason that he's so like timid about approaching her is because he doesn't trust people so i hope her being so forward in public helps him see that she's not gonna change up on him you know Mm. Exactly. Sit the fuck down. Oh, she wants to eat with him in public. <laughs> I hope I hope he confessed. Please confess. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! 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 Compose yourself, Farah. Compose yourself, Farah. Compose yourself. It can't be easier. I like you. I love you. Date me. Oh, she's dressed up. Is she about to confess herself? Oh, she sat closer. It almost feels like she put, he put like the pillow there to prevent her from sitting there, to be closer. The gap is closing. Oh. Oh. What? I think she's claiming you. For being stupid? Good! Good! They just confessed. <laughs> Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. And it was so rude. <laughs> I think that is her charm. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Look how close they are after creating that distance. I can't cry because I have to stream soon, so I shouldn't cry. It's so nice that she confessed like publicly just so that he can like learn to trust her words that her in private, what she told you in private, she means to do it in pu public too, you know? <laughs> 
She kind of had to. You were taking 17 years. Yeah. <laughs> Habibi, I know. Yeah, stop shitting on yourself. He wants to be less dull, but she likes you just as you are. Habibi, you're already worthy. I'm gonna cry. Habibi. I feel like you already have Habibi. <laughs> Dude, the couch was really here for us during our toughest moments. Okay, they even confessed on the couch. Okay, this couch, he can never get rid of it. That's a keepsake. That was such a romantic way to confess, but I really wish it didn't take him 12 episodes. I can't imagine watching this and knowing that there isn't a season 2 coming soon yet, or like even announced yet, and being like, oh yes, I'm satiated, I'm happy. Like, even when I know there's a season 2 coming out soon, I'm still upset. Like, their relationship is so cute, and I genuinely think there's so much importance in her confessing it publicly. Especially for a guy like him who really struggled. It also seems that we're like... Getting a hint at more like storylines, especially with our redhead queen um, coming next like season. It seems we're going to get kind of horror Mia-ish in sense of getting more into other people's stories in their life. Because Itsuki didn't really go into detail about why his dad doesn't approve of her. So I am very excited to find out more about their love story. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me on that sweetest ride in humanity. I'll see you guys very soon for season number two. Bye.